Okay, folks, this is a video tutorial for Lab 5, Part 1. We will be acquiring some data from the Utah Geospatial Resource Center and using it to uh, make our own topographic map. So first, we're just going to go to Data and scroll down to Data Categories. We're interested in Elevation and Terrain. Here, um, we see all the parts of the state that they have surveyed using LIDAR and made that data available. What we're going to be interested for this lab is this data set from 2016 of the Great Salt Lake and Utah Lake. We're going to go ahead and click View. And then here, we want to retrieve uh, this data via the interactive map. All right, so our uh, area of interest is going to be Carrington Island, which is just right above Stansbury Island or north of Stansbury Island. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And to define this area, we're going to draw a polygon. Uh, you can see that here on the left. And we're just going to highlight the island in the surrounding area. And double click. So here's our results. Um, we have this one meter resolution. We're interested in this bare earth digital elevation model. So we click that and then click download. Now we see these tiles appear and each one of these tiles holds the data for that specific area. So what we're interested in gathering is these, uh, these nine tiles here. So each one of these files we're going to have to download individually. Scroll down. Here's our first one. We just click this dot zip to download it. That will go to our downloads uh, on our computer. So again, we just want those nine that include the island and the area around it. And you'll notice they're not in order. Okay. So by the end of this, we should have nine files of this area, um, which we will then take from our downloads but onto our desktop and then into a folder for Lab 5, which I'll show you right here. So now that we've downloaded the files, we're going to go to our Finder, go to Downloads. This is if you have a Mac. If you don't have a Mac and have a PC, you're going to want to do the equivalent as this. So we're just going to simply highlight all of them. You should have nine. So locate all nine of those files in your downloads and simply drop them to your desktop. And then we want to go to file, new folder. Let's name it lab five. And then within lab five, let's add another folder called data. And we're just going to, again, get all nine of those files into this folder so that we have them and they're easy to locate when we put them into QGIS.